Hey guys, I'm back. I've had a break. You probably think I'm what the fuck is she on about? But yeah, it's part two, pig and tag. So just carrying on from the other one. These are the next set of questions. So I'll keep looking down because I'm reading and we'll go from there. So do you have a familiar? No, I don't. I did have, but sadly she passed away. If you can remember my cat Phoebe, the black cat, she was my familiar. If I did ritual work, spell work, meditation, she was always there, very interested and like to see what I was doing and things like that. My other cat, Gracie, the white one, I don't know if you've seen her before anyway. We got her not long after Phoebe died. Um, she takes a little bit of interest in my whole life, but she doesn't take part in um she does any of my spell work or anything like that i just think she likes the smell of the incense to be honest um have you had any paranormal experiences yes 100 percent. if you look back at my videos um it happens it still happens i've had quite a bit going on lately um not so much materializing things but feelings and thoughts and sort of seeing things out the corner of your eye and things like that but it's another video I'm burping again i'm on the sprite not cool really um do you meditate over the past few years i'm i'm going to be honest and no i hadn't my mind couldn't calm down um everything was just up in the air but of late i have started meditating again which is good, it's healthy, it's good for your mind, it's good for your body and oh, does it ever decrease those stress levels. Um, so yeah, I can say actually now that I have started again, so it's pretty cool. Have you gone to a psychic, tarot reader, reiki master or healer? Psychic, yes, I've, I've got a really good friend uh, where I live and we often meet up at her house and you know it's not just reading you know it's sort of like sharing experiences and sharing knowledge and sitting having a good chat and she's my friend you know but i have seen other psychics in the past some good some absolutely terrible um i can remember one time going to this psychic and it was like sat in a group setting and we all sat there and i was sat with my friends and you know he, he come to me my friend and he was like you've been playing with the ouija board and I was like, whoa, hang on there. I don't even possess a Ouija board. And he kept going on and on and on. You have these pizza parties and you dabble with the Ouija board and you dabble with these tarot cards. And I was like, right, hold on, back up a minute. You know, I was like, that is just completely untrue. I got really pissed off and in the end I left. I just thought to myself, what the absolute fuck is going on yeah that was pretty not a cool experience but i learned from it and now that guy doesn't even tour anymore just a psychic bully to be honest um off on a tangent again man uh which which books have influenced you a lot of cassandra easton's books when i first sort of started practicing really did help um scott coinham as well which i think is a staple for any which, to be honest, everything is just in them books. This is pure Sprite. By the way, I'm not editing these videos at all. They're just going up raw. So if something happens, it happens. You'll get to see it. I am... Are we off on a tangent again? Honestly. Mind like a grasshopper. Um, Favourite witch website? To be honest, I haven't really got any. Um, I flit in between different things, different forums. Um, everything under the moon. I used to frequent that quite a bit. Um, Pig in the Valley, which is a UK forum, but forums are really starting to to die out now. There's not a, as much activity. I'm in quite a few Facebook groups, um, which is really good. You know, some are good, some are bad. Um, comes down to the admins, I suppose. Sometimes I think they're a bit holier than thou and godlike. Um, so I have been kicked from quite a few groups speaking my mind as you do which I wouldn't have done years ago I was a shy little shrinking violet um, but these days not so much um, your favourite witch movie everybody loves the craft I think definitely that is like 
my favourite of all time witch movie. I love The Witches of Eastwick. I think that, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, Practical Magic is a fantastic movie as well. Can't really think of any more off the top of my head. I'm put on the spot. Yeah, anywho, if I think any more, just put them in the description below. Uh, favourite mythological animal? Oh, that's a tough one. I'd probably say a phoenix. I like dragons as well. Um, but phoenix, to me personally, um, I have had dreams about phoenixes and, you know, sort of rising up from the ashes, you know, sort of different things that have happened in my life. And I have risen up like a phoenix, to be honest with you. You know, I think my hair reflects that nowadays. It's more back to sort of like my natural colour than what it ever was. But it's like a sort of golden thing. I always used to have red. If you look back at my older videos, it was always red hair. Um, but yeah, Phoenix. I would say a Phoenix, definitely. Uh, Favourite season, autumn, hands down. Winter being my second. Although this winter here in the UK this year, I mean, we're nearly, well, it's belting tomorrow. And it's absolutely freezing outside today. I've actually had to put my heating on. We had a heat wave last week. I got a tan, which I was like, yeah, sitting out in the garden, like, get in. This is brilliant. It's like, to gardening with my mum and stuff like that at her house. And then all of a sudden, it's absolutely minging out there again and just not nice. And winter has really played havoc on my joints. This hand was literally out of action for about four months. But it really affects my joints. And with it being horrible like it is again, my body's absolutely screaming at me. And I'm in quite a, a bad amount of pain. But I'm battling on and I'm getting through it. And I'm off on a tangent again. Uh, right, 30. Your favourite herb has got to be nettle root. I think it's very protective. Um, I actually have it constantly in one of my altar bones nettle root always have nettle root um very very protective herb and keeps the, the berries away but i don't work a lot with herbs to be honest with you it's one one sort of branch of uh witchcraft or the, the craft that i've never really delved into i was always more into my crystals which brings me up to the next question, which is my favourite gemstone crystal, Tiger's Eye, 100%. It is one of them ones I pick up and I just get, it. it's just like this instant connection with it. I get all tingly and it's just, it's a weird, weird feeling, but it's a good feeling. And when I used to do my paranormal investigations and everything, I always had a Tiger's Eye in my pocket. It would stay with me. It was my protection and I've still got it. And there's always one on the side of my bed. I have jewellery. I make my pagan prayer beads that I sell off Etsy with Tiger's Eye. And I just love it. Um, 32. The rune of your choice. You ruse. You are. You, you said. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But I've, I've got a necklace with that rune stone on. Um, your symbol. <laughs> symbol of. Put, symbol of sigil. So I can't say it's sigil. Sigil. See seagull? <laughs> oh no! Right, keep it together. Just let me have a minute. I'm trying not to crack up to the camera. Um, your symbol or oh, seagull of your choice? Oh, symbol. It's got to be the pentacle. It's just everywhere. To be honest, you know, I, I have a lot of jewelry and it's on my altar and I, you know, I, I draw it as well so yeah definitely and um, the tarot card of your choice is a high priestess that is one card that instantly i'm just drawn to in the pack um every time every time and every time i get a reading it comes out as well um your athme my athme this is my athme and um, you've probably seen this like on my pagan altar tour, but yeah, this this is my ritual blade. Um, it's just cool. Um, I actually got this off eBay. Oh, I'd probably say about ten years ago, and it comes with a little bowline. 
um and it was like eight pounds and it's like proper leather and everything and yeah that's that's that is my ritual blade um your cauldron i don't have a cauldron i really want one though a nice little pot belly one where i can sort of burn you know loose incense and everything so it's definitely on my to buy list um my incense is just usually in a bowl could that, well i suppose that could be classed as a cauldron couldn't it And um, your book of shadows, I have a like a proper hardback book where my important stuff goes into. Um, but I haven't got a fancy one. I would love a fancy one to be honest with you. But I've got like little notebooks and everything everywhere with things in little notes, little jots, little or just everything. And I used to keep a ring ring binder with everything as well because I used to think that would just be perfect. You know, you could change things around and that but mostly a lot of my stuff is it's usually written on the computer if i'm honest with you and saved into files never printed them off and i really should to be honest i put them on a memory stick <coughs> um your tarot decks i have a lot of tarot decks and um, my favorite that i read with all the time is my go-to deck is my right away weight um my oracle deck i would probably say it's the mermaids and dolphins i really do like that one but yeah i have, I have a lot of them I've, there is a video on my well on my channel if you know what i mean um further down and if you go to that it, it shows you my tarot decks and my collection and stuff um something which related you want let's talk about it a cauldron i really do need a cauldron um but it's saving my pennies up at the minute because i am still off work um just unable to to do what i need to do at the minute all my medication's still up in the air with my illness and that i need to get a little bit of money behind me and sort of start saving for a cauldron um but i have seen some and i, I really would like one unless i sweet talk the hubby you might buy me one. Anyway, I, I don't know. I don't know. If you want to send me one, you can. I'm joking. That is a complete joke. I didn't mean that seriously. But yeah, anyway, guys and girls, that is the pagan tag. I will leave the questions down below in the comments, along with my Etsy, Facebook and Instagram page for Spuggles Art. If you could go and give them a like, I will be forever grateful. Go and have a look at my shop. There may be something that you fancy and for now guys and girls just remember stay cool be cool and i'll see you on the other side goodbye for now